And with that devastating news coming out of Baltimore, we're taking a closer look at Connecticut bridges and the traffic in our waterways. NBC Connecticut's Perseida Alana Verde joining us live from Middletown with more on that. Perseida. Yeah, Amber, we spoke to two experts in the field who say what happened in Baltimore overnight is very unlikely to happen in Connecticut. That's just an absolute tragedy. The, the imagery is stark. There is heartbreak felt in Connecticut for the people impacted by the Baltimore Bridge collapse. Anytime I see a massive uh, bridge collapse like that, it is heart-wrenching. According to NBC News, the Francis Scott Key Bridge partially came down after it was hit by a large cargo ship overnight in Maryland. It would have been very difficult for any bridge to have survived that kind of impact. Closer to home in Connecticut, the State Department of Transportation oversees about 5,400 bridges. Spokesperson Josh Morgan says a similar type of catastrophe is not likely in Connecticut for two reasons. We have less traffic in our waterways and our infrastructure is different. The ports that are out there in New London, uh, the marine traffic is just so much different. The containers uh, or the, the ships and the vessels that are out there, the marine traffic doesn't even come close to the size and scale of what those large your container ships are in the Baltimore port. Morgan says several Connecticut bridges have fenders, which are designed to protect and prevent impact from boats. Basically devices that will limit, if there is a bridge strike, any impact to those critical components. Most bridges are designed to withstand uh, impact of smaller boats. Now, the state DOT inspects our bridges every other year. We'll have more on that coming up at 6. Live in Middletown, Priscilla Landa Verde, NBC Connecticut News. Back to you.